Hi guys, my name is Umu and I'm React Case channel creator and welcome to my AT's Wave and Illusion reaction. As you can tell, my background is different from when I usually react with Kevin or Sean and that's because I'm back home in California, they're in New York, that's why I'm not reacting with them. I have heard, or I mean I've seen the like when we had to vote between Wave and Illusion, the performance teasers, so I kind of know what I'm in for for both songs and not gonna lie I really hoped after just falling head over heels in love with Hala Hala that I that their next comeback would be a Hala Hala like 2.0 but like you know it's summertime so I can understand why they're releasing a summer themed album and I already am kind of excited I voted for Wave and I'm, I'm excited to see how a full song turned out and yeah Let's let's listen to Wave first since that one title track. Three, two, one. I like the muffled octaves in the voice. That might be something that's looped throughout the song. Oh. Oh. Love the acoustic guitar sound. Loved the vocal line, the switch between um, is it chest and falsetto? The da or I can't sing. Ignore that. What I just did. Okay. Texture change. Okay, rhythm speeding up. Scale like melody. Hey! The tropical dance track. What can I say? The synths are really fun. It's a cool experience, the kind of like fading in and out and panning between right and left channels. And we're back to the acoustic guitar, but again, we're playing between right and left channels. The mixing is good in this song. I like it. Now we're back in center. We had that instrumental moment where we kind of were jumping between, you know, different effects on each side of our ears, and then now everything's more centered. And we still have some things panned hard right and left. I didn't catch the claps before. Yo, that cro- okay. It just cro- <laughs> This song has a lot of layers. On the surface, it can be like an easy listening pop song, but I can see myself coming back to this and discovering d all the different textures and you know what it's doing mixing wise. Bridge. We did half expected us to go half time or thin out the texture even more, but instead we have different harmonic turn. Pretty background vocals. Bum, 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 bum. Syncopated progression. Yeah, it kind of fades to the right and then it fades to the left. I wonder how many guitars they tracked. I'm talking a lot about uh, audio mixing because that's what stood out to me most in this um, track was, you know, um, the instrumentals, the layering, and how it played between our right and left ears if you're, you know, listening to it on stereo. Um, but yeah, I thought that's what mainly caught my eye first listen. And I love the soundscape, they had enough changes rhythmically and texturally between sections so I didn't get bored of too, too much of a repeated material. 
Um, thing about ATs, I did them live when they were in New York City, and at that time I only really liked Pirate King and Hala Hala. Like, I, I, I really liked those songs. The rest of the songs was like, okay, I like, because my first listen I can't I don't find as many things to analyze, I, I'm not absolutely intrigued. But then I saw them perform, and I was like, okay, I am obsessed with every single track now. I love their first two albums in full just because of their performance made me view the songs in a different way, especially their choreography. I think their choreography is mind-blowing. Seventeen's my favorite, like, choreography boy group of all time. Eighties is, like, is getting hella close. Really, really hella close. Twilight. Twilight's my obsession. The choreography for Twilight is gorgeous. And in this song, they had a point at which, was it Hong Joon? Someone was like, you know, they were like walking on members and it made such a cool shape. I'm obsessed when like choreography. I'm sorry, I'm a musician, not a dancer. I mean, I dance sometimes, but yeah, I just love ATs's dancing. Anyways, I'm really excited to see the choreography for this and Illusion and I, when I listen to the song the first time, I lurk it, like it at a certain level, but then when I watch them perform it, I, I like it even more, so I will be reacting to, I believe they have still, f still cam live stages of Illusion and Wave, and I'll be posting my reactions to those on Patreon, so if you aren't already supporting us on Patreon, I'll put a link to that in the description. Only for $5 a month you'll get access to our reactions to Japanese songs, um, live stages, you know, just a lot of things that will get copyrighted if I upload it to YouTube. So, so my reactions to the live stages of Wave and Illusion, where I focus more on how the dance enhances the music, will be posted on Patreon in a few days, so please go check that out. And thanks so much for supporting us. Okay, now we finally move on to Illusion. This one I originally was kind of turned off because of the amount of autotune, but I talked to Sean, who is in charge of the Classical Composer Breaks Down the K, it's a long title, uh, series on this channel, and he said, you know what, I think they're on the verge of... Wait, let me, let me quote him. <laughs> Wait, shoot, we were chatting on a document. No, I can't quote him, what did he say? Because we erased our conversation. Oh. He said something like, they, they are on the verge of doing something better than normal. <laughs> Revolutionary? Something like that, uh, with their autotune, using it creatively instead of just for a specific sound or something. Because I, I, I always have mixed feelings about autotunes. I prefer, you know, just the, their voices. I love ATs's vocal timbres, and so when they, you know, they add a lot of autotune, I'm like, but, but I love your real voice. Um, but I understand that it is used for stylistic vibes type stuff. Okay. Okay, finally. Three, two, one. Muffled percussion in the back. I love the synths, the running synths and the... <laughs> kind of sparkling. Oh, are we pirates again? Okay, okay, y'all, I had this prepared. Yes, we, we going on an adventure. Oh. I'm ready! I like the new bass sound that they added in. The descending reminiscent of Pirate King. Oh damn, that allowed a lot of depth. And okay. Okay. The bass line is more active than I thought it would be. Duh, duh. Nice. Oh! It's much more more active and not just going hitting like 1515 or like 2121. Because in, like, dance track drop type songs, usually if we have a giant loud bass part like that, sorry for talking over you, Mingi, um, it usually just drones one note or just flips between two. We have a- that was, that was a lot of movement and flipping between more than just two notes. Nice thirds, vocal harmonies. Oh, 
back to the sparkly vibe, and then we add the depth with the percussion until we get that really dark bass in the chorus. Okay, I like this. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a good section. Oh, this is really good. This is this is really good. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, this is good too. I love this, and that's like hitting it and then like, boing. Oh, don't have all the instrumentation in yet. Oh, still not. Are we gonna repeat it one more time or are we ending here? I feel like not all the instruments are in. Oh. Oh. We added new percussion sample. Bass. Drum mess. Bass. Uh, kick drum. Okay. Okay. Okay, oh, there's more. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. So... Some of their past title tracks, like Treasure or, or Say My Name, I felt like between the sections, it was, it's a little jumpy. Um, what I love about Pirate King is I feel like that it, it, even though there are so many different grooves, it's still, the style is still knitted together throughout. And we don't have any too drastic changes, but it changes enough, and that's what I love about Pirate King. Yeah, from some of their past songs, basically, I felt like each section, it just felt like so many different songs put together, and that usually isn't a complaint of mine, because I love weird stuff like that, but some of them I felt like really, really didn't work. However, with these, the style stayed consistent, and like Pirate King, it was knitted together with certain sounds, with the melody, with the vibe, and yet we had enough grooves, enough instrumental changes, enough texture changes, and I am only, I feel like right now, I'm only skimming the surface of um, what these songs are with my first listen, so I will definitely... I think listen to these tracks a lot more before I jump into watching the live stages, so I'll have a lot more musically to say when I react to these songs on Patreon. So yeah. Thanks for watching my reaction, guys. I, a, a tease extremely in intrigues me. I am very, very interested to see where they're going, and I'm no longer complaining about not getting <laughs> Hala Hala 2.0 because I enjoyed these songs, and not quite sure if I'm gonna do an album first listen yet or not. Um, I'll check out little bits and pieces of the B-side songs to make sure I have stuff to, exciting stuff, to say about each song before I decide to do a first listen, so can't promise one yet, but M maybe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.